And our team coverage continues as reactions are pouring in surrounding Donald Trump's pick. Lawmakers on both sides speaking out after the announcement. WLWT News Live's Danielle Dindak is live this morning with how some of our local lawmakers and candidates feel about the pick. Danielle. Stephen, much of the conversation surrounds Senator Vance's age. Some are happy to see a younger candidate on the picket, on the ticket. Now, many on the right are praising the pick, saying Vance's upbringing in our area gives him a unique perspective on the demographics of many battleground states like Ohio. Some of them are saving, saying even though Vance wore a white collar as a venture capitalist, he has not lost his blue collar touch. He's a guy that came from that world. He's going to make certain that the Republican Party stands with them. That's what this uh, nomination means. Couldn't be more proud of J.D. Vance. Democratic Congressman Greg Landsman represents the, the congressional district Vance lives in. He noted how Vance immediately took to social media after the assassination attempt of Donald Trump, saying that Vance's words were divisive and says Vance's politics do not represent his constituents. The 700,000 people I represent, including Mr. Vance, they come first. Uh, and, um, you know, what I know to be true, uh, and, 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 and Mr. Vance doesn't agree with this, the, the vast majority of folks here want their democracy strengthened. They want freedom restored, and, and they want an economy that's built for them, not billionaires. Now, Senator Vance's current term runs until 2028. So, of course, that means what will happen if the Trump Vance tick ticket wins this coming November. So, don't worry, I'll break that down coming up in the next half hour. Reporting live, Danielle Zindak, WLWT News 5.